Hey, how's it going everyone? It's your boy Wags here, and real quick, I'm actually going to show you how to add mods to your game in Shadows of Doubt. It's a really quick and easy process, so all you got to do is just follow me step by step, and we'll get you set up. Let's get into it. So first, before you do anything, you're going to want to make sure you have WinRAR installed, and if you don't know, this is just going to make sure that we have the ability to unpack our download that we do in just a minute, so... Get this installed if you need to i'm sure there's tutorials online that'll explain this a little more but once you have that you're going to want to head over to thunderstore.io and this is just a big mod database like it says if you're familiar with modding think of it like nexus mod manager or if you're uh, familiar with risk of rain you've probably been here too to mod that um, so we have a bunch of mods here but you're going to want to make your way up to communities and then you guessed it shadows of doubt right here now here's the page of all the different mods that we have, and here's one that I actually just featured in my video the other day. It's a density mod, it gives you like more settings to generate your city, which is pretty cool. But there's other things like the ability to kill NPCs, or uh, this one adds a, a real estate app to the crunchers in game, which is pretty cool. Other things that really just add some quick fixes here and there, but before we add any of them, we need this right here, which is why this is pinned. We need this too, but I'll go over this in a second. We need our mod manager, so we're going to click this and we're going to go down here to manual download because we don't have a mod manager yet. All right, click it and it's going to appear down here with the WinRAR symbol because you downloaded WinRAR, hopefully. And you click this arrow and make sure that it has, says open when done or you have this clicked, always open files of this type. That way, as soon as it's done downloading, it's going to pop up a window right in front of us. Okay, so it just popped up for us. Do not pay for WinRAR, close that app if it pops up. Um, and we're looking for this file right here, this application. This is the setup for the mod manager. So double click this, hit next, choose where you want to install it. You can leave this checked because this will just open the mod manager as soon as we click finish. Now here we go, we have our mod manager and this is gonna have all the different games that we can add mods to. I have Shadows of Doubt already favorited, but if you didn't uh, normally, uh, sometimes it's hard to find. You can just search it up right here. And then I would add the star. So that way, whenever you open it, it's right here, first one. Select game. Now, you're normally just gonna wanna hit select profile to be the default. The only reason you'd wanna create a new one is if you wanna like separate your mods from different playthroughs. Like if you want like one playthrough to have this, you know, these couple mods and then a different. But if you're just like most people and you're probably gonna just put all your mods on one game, then just hit select profile and do one. All right, so now we have the mod menu and this is zero installed, 22 online. So there's 22 different mods that we can add to Shadows of Doubt but we do need this one first. And the cool thing about Thunderstore, or the mod manager for it is we actually don't need to worry about downloading it because if we like, if we didn't know, if we just wanted to get this density mod, it'll actually download with dependencies and it'll download this one um, just because it needs it anyway. So we'll just click this and see, look, it, it added two. It added the one that we need to even run the mods and the density mod that we clicked. And now there's one thing I do want to run by you real quick. Since you're probably used to just clicking on Shadows of Doubt and opening it that way, if you're going to start running it with mods, you're going to want to, in order to open Shadows of Doubt, you're going to want to open the mod manager first, click select game Shadows of Doubt, select profile default, and then you're going to want to go up here to where it says start modded. Otherwise, if you do it the other way, like you normally do, it won't load up the mod manager, it won't load any of the mods, and you, I, I don't know, it might just not work, or it might just load up the game regularly. So, we'll hit start modded, it pops up this little window, and here we go, we're in. Alright, and we're gonna go to new game, sandbox, generate city, and look at we have the, the complete ability to select whatever grid size we want for our city, we can go down here to density settings and we can select how many NPCs we want in each like each area, what we want the land value to be. So if we want like really like a really big city with a bunch of buildings, we would set both of these to very high. But if we wanted like say a lot of like, you know, really run down buildings, we could set both of these to low. All right, let's just see. We'll, we'll, we'll put this up a little more six by six. How about that? 
my god, look at how big this place is. Uh, yeah, I think it worked. Well, I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, it works. Hopefully you have a good understanding of how to add them yourself and play around with them, you know. I really just wanted to make this video because I showcased the density mod the other day in my previous video when I was playing and, you know, I know a lot of you like the Shadows of Doubt videos, so I figured I didn't want to keep it to myself, so I'm sure a lot of you know already how to mod, but for those who don't, now you know. Now you know. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you're having a good one. Uh, remember our Discord server is live. It just went live a couple days ago. We got about 50 plus members in there right now. So if you want to grab that link in the description, come join, come chat. It'd be awesome. Uh, other than that, liking, commenting, subscribing, it all helps me out immensely. And I will see you on the next one.